Hey friends, my name is Hannah and you're watching the Wishing Clock channel here on YouTube. Today I have for you a good old Goodwill Outlet Bins haul, but don't worry for those of you that have been waiting for a variety of different videos, I do have Thread Up Rescue Boxes coming as well as a kind of end of the year roundup where I will be letting you know some of my top sales from the previous year. So stick around, subscribe if you have not. Let's go ahead and jump into this. This is two separate days worth of bins finds. And also let me know down below if this lighting works better. I now have two ring lights and my phone is on its own separate stand. So um, I'm liking it so far. Here we have Everlane. This is just a basic skater cotton top and a long sleeve, buttery yellow. Um, this is listed for $30 and it should sell for around 25. I do primarily sell on Poshmark, so that's where most of my comps are going to come from. That is my dog barking at the mail person. These are the Ugg Boylan, I think. Uh, they're a men's slipper in a size 10. Um, harder to find men's slippers. The tread is great condition. There is some like, you know, water staining on them, which I did disclose in the listing. Next we have the Bailey 2 boot by Lucky Brand. Leopard print though, and I believe these are a size, yeah, eight and a half. So nice little boot, $20, $25 flip. I don't pick those up at a regular thrift store, but at the bins where I'm paying by the pound. And um, this haul averaged out to a little less than $2 per pound. I was happy to do it. Here we have bull boxer boots. I grabbed these mainly for style. I don't know much about this brand, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, again, it's bull boxer. They're a size eight and they're in excellent condition. Nice pebbled leather, chunky, you know, Doc Martin Y2K vibes. So we'll see how they do. This is Kate Spade. I believe this is the Cedar Street crossbody, but it's just a little crossbody. It does have fading right there on the front, and then it opens like an envelope. The strap can come off via the clasps, and then there are a couple little pink marks on the interior, so disclose that, hoping for, you know, 25, 30. I'd be happy with 22, but we'll see. That's what comps were saying, so I followed the direction. These are the Athleta Camo Ferralin Jogger. Very soft, cozy style, size four, newer as well because they have the name listed right there. And summer 2021 is when they're from. So, I mean, as long as they're 2020 or newer, that means that they're not more than five years old. Can you believe it's 2024? What the heck? <laughs> so weird. So here we have Public Rec. I don't normally pick this brand up, but I do know that Kaylee Elaine is one person that has said that it's a decent pickup and a fast flip. It doesn't sell for a lot. Hoping for about $15 for this shirt. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is Veveret and it's a shacket. This is a boutique brand, but the comps for this brand seem to do fairly well. So I picked up a fleecy jacket already in a previous haul, and now I've picked up this one. We'll see how they do. Um, this one has tons of distressing all over the place. And then it says, all you need is love on the back. So there was a comp for this for $30, $28, something like that. We'll see. Here we have Botkir, Botkir. I believe this is the Target brand though, um, collab. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why I just ran out of breath. <laughs> so it's in good condition. It does have like a little bit of thread that just needs to be trimmed. Um, figure it's another 15 to $20 flip. Otherwise, and I'm trying to get more accessories um, to list on eBay as well. This is Michael Kors. This is a snake print little shoulder bag. It's such a nice weight and it actually feels really nice. If it wasn't snake print, I might keep it for myself, but um, the snake print in com combination with the chunky chain and the silver is just all a bit too much. I need two out of three, not all three. So i um, hoping for around $30 for that piece. 
Here we have the sack, and this is beautiful, embroidered, laser cut details. Um, again, probably a $15 flip, but these are known to sell fairly quickly if you price them right, so hoping for that. Let me know if you have any luck selling them. This is Madewell, a size small, and I only grabbed this because this is a newer style, and it's a chunky thermal, which seems to be doing fairly well for me outside of the Chaser brand. Chaser is definitely out. <laughs> So, and Madewell is on its way, but I thought that was trendy enough that it would work. This is Eileen Fisher. It's been a while since I've seen her. Size large. This is a linen button-down top. Very pretty. Hoping for around $30 for her. This one I'm confused about and probably might not list because there are little buttons right here but I don't know what they're for. But I thought it was just a basic Kate Spade size four dress. And now I'm questioning everything. <laughs> I don't know what those buttons are for. So I'm gonna have to, you know, do a little research and see what's going on with that. Um, but generally Kate Spade is a fun find from the bins. Let's see. I feel like now you guys can see how white I am, like very, very white. <laughs> Here we have Lululemon. This is a polo top in a men's size. Who knows? <laughs> There's no pull tab, but I'm sure I will find out via measurements. Here we have this is American Eagle new with tags, which is why I picked them up, size zero. Um, but they are an elastic waist and the material is 100% lyocell, so. Figured you can't go wrong. They'll sell eventually for, you know, at least 20 bucks. I've sold this brand previously. This is Chalet. Definitely a mature brand. Um, Lag and Look Styling. This is a waffle knit with these flowers at the bottom. Again, vibrant yellow. The little mother of pearl buttons are also shaped in flowers. Size 1X. So I think this is going to do fairly well. Um, definitely an understated brand, but good bread and butter, you know, pickups if you can come across the bins. Here we have BCBG Max Azria. Whoop, whoop. Um, not the best brand. However, this is very Y2K. It's got bling on the back and the front. Um, so very reminiscent of the good, good, um, pink and Victoria's Secret days. It's got it on the hood and the pocket as well. Um, and it seems to be in like new condition. I don't know if it has the actual size, size extra large. So again, another good sellable feature. We'll see how it does. I have not looked it up yet to see. This is probably a bad pickup. Athleta size medium, crop legging, um, but they're in such great condition that I did grab them, even though they are from 2018, which is like six years now. Oh, but then, you know, I picked those up. So I picked these up too. These are Lululemon reversible. Are these a Tadashi crop or something like that? Something like that. They're size four, um, great condition, you know. That's, it's the bits. What do you expect from me? Don't judge me. Here we have Floriet, and this is a robe by this brand. This brand used to be sold at Anthropology. I highly doubt it is sold there now, um, but this robe has comps that are a bit all over, anywhere from 20 to $50. It's very pretty, quilted, so I figured I had to grab it. It is a size medium large. Okay. Now we have just a basic Wilfred extra extra small wrap top. Very much just a $10 flip, but when you're paying less than $2 for items, it's kind of hard to ignore those. Here we have J Jill. This is a size medium, but it's 100% linen. And these buttons were what really sold it for me. They're like little, they almost look like little yarn ball poof things. 
they're very cute. So had to grab it. Probably a 15 to 20 dollar flip. This is a Lululemon hat. Um, it's very small though, like women's small. Um, and it does have a little bit of yellowing right here that I'll see if it comes out. Um, but I had to grab it and give it a try. Here we have my first time picking up this brand and it is Baltic born, size small. Look at this beauty. Had to grab it. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this brand is described as a bolo, but I was looking at comps and I feel like it's more like the upper end of bread and butter where you're making $30, $40 for it. So, I mean, still great. I just, I don't know. I felt like because I saw so many people talking about it on Instagram and such that it was going to be so much more. <laughs> Um, so I guess, you know, nobody to blame but myself for overhyping it. Uh, this is Ann Taylor Factory, size extra large, retailed for $69.99. Um, if it wasn't new with tags, I would not have grabbed it, but I figured I'd give it a go. Very cute. This is a very basic flip, but it is a Patagonia bralette our bralette, bikini top, come on, Hannah. Women's size medium, um, definitely for a smaller chested woman. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's super easy to list, so why not grab it, and it's lightweight. Here we have my first time picking up Beyond the Bump yoga pants. I found Beyond Yoga many times before, but this is my first time finding the maternity style. So very excited about that. There is slight pilling right here, but that will come right off um, with a sweater shaver. So curious to see if that does better than Beyond Yoga does for me because Beyond Yoga is not always the best. <laughs> here we have mother jeans. That said, little pull right here. And there's almost like a pilly texture happening right here. Um, but the fabric itself like isn't thinned out. It just feels like somebody rubbed them up against a tree or something. So I'm gonna depill them and list them, you know, disclose the small pole right underneath the zipper. And I should still get, you know, $30, $40 from them. They're size 27 and they are the, oh my God, it's faded. Looker ankle fray in Blackbird. So it's on the interior pocket, if you're wondering. So that's it on the first day. Now we'll get into today's day. None of today's day stuff is listed on only half of the previous days is. These are Fit Flop, which I don't think I've ever picked up this brand. A little fuzz, beautiful. But they are wool and leather. So, you know, Definitely curious and had to pick them up and see how they would do for me. They are a size something, size woman nine. So great size. I just thought they were really cute and they caught my eye. So I grabbed them. They're in great condition. Be a fun experiment. These are Tiva. I don't think these do as well as the actual sandals though. Um, just based off of the quick comps I did. They are a waterproofed leather, and then they have the nice thick canvas material. I think they're really cute. Uh, size, where are you, size? Size US 8. Dun, 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 dun. And again, excellent condition. These I might try on for myself just to see. They are airy in the chill play move kind of deal with the Y. I'm not too crazy about the fact that this has airy chill play move right above the butt crack though. So we'll see, might list them for, you know, 10, 15. And another, these are the like Y front size large as well. Go to try them on, see if I like them. Cause my old, Lululemons are 
starting to fall apart, but um, either they're being sold at a trending price on Poshmark right now, or they're in very rough shape. So I'm kind of losing my flared Lululemon pants. Universal standard, size large. I actually sold a dress um, that was just like this but in green, I think it was, for $60. So, I mean, if I can get even 40, 50 for that, I will be very, very happy. I'm gonna have to like change my background or something because it's just white. Maybe if I do one and they're two different ring lights, so bear with me. Nope, still super white. <laughs> Uh, this is APC. So excited to find this. I was just thinking about how I hadn't found it in a while. I've never found it in a woman's dress before. Size small, button front with the little frill detail. Um, the material's nothing special. It's just viscose and pleamide. Uh, but comps still look to be above $50. So very happy. Um, APC is one of my favorite men's jeans brands to find. That seems to be the most common thing I find it in. This I'm confused about. There's one listed for $10 and one listed for $350. Uh, this is Parker and it is a sequin dress that would have been great to find for the New Year's. Ooh, very pretty. What's going on right there? Oh, it's just, okay, better. But it's an all over sequin dress, silk lined by Parker, size small. Um, I'm hoping for at least $40, $50 for it. It is kind of weighty. So, you know, this was definitely one of those pieces that pulled it up towards that $2 per piece um, cost. This is Title IX. And Title IX is outdoor, active wear, tennis, golf, that kind of thing. Uh, just a crisp back dress with a shelf bra. I forgot what size it is, size medium. So this is Title IX. I get Sweaty Betty, Title IX, and Three Dots mixed up sometimes when I'm at the bins because I'm going so fast. And Three Dots doesn't perform as well. Sweaty Betty does okay in specific things. And Title IX overall seems to do the best for me, even though it's a very unassuming brand. So um, yeah, happy to find that. The last Title IX dress I sold, sold for $30, $35, I want to say. Last but not least, we have... L.L. Bean, size 3X, new with tags, linen top in an iris mauve color. Oh yeah, very happy to find this. You best believe I searched to see if there was any more new with tag plus size linen items in that bin, but there wasn't. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thanks for, you know, not getting mad at me for being gone for two weeks and just taking a break at the end of the year. And I hope to see you on the next videos. It'll either be a thread up unboxing. Why is it so hard to talk today? Probably because I haven't done this in a while. Thread up unboxing or a best sales of the previous year. So thank you. Bye.